remember the oceans as well. Uh, Senator Padilla, I believe, might be next. And uh, Senator Padilla, I think, is joining us on WebEx. Uh, Alex, are you there? Yes, thank you, Mr. Chair. I uh, want to raise a couple of issues and questions with Mr. Sullivan, uh, Little California. Uh, you highlighted, uh, Mr. Sullivan, in your testimony, uh, the uh, proposal to create the Western Riverside County National Wildlife Refuge uh, in uh, Southern California, a few miles uh, uh, east of uh, Los Angeles. California, as you know, is one of the most biodiverse places in the world with thousands and thousands of species. And as you noted, uh, the proposed refuge would directly protect 147 species, 33 of which are threatened or endangered. This area of uh, Southern California uh, is also in need of sustainable development. Uh, it's a densely populated area with uh, uh, inequitable uh, access to nature and open spaces, particularly for working class communities and communities of color. So I'm hoping you can uh, uh, ex expand uh, on your testimony and share with us your thoughts on how the proposed wildlife refuge uh, can help us meet multiple uh, uh, policy priorities here. Number one, help and protect biodiversity uh, of the area, uh, which you know has multiple uh, environmental benefits, uh, all, while also enabling responsible and sustainable development. And third, uh, helping improve uh, uh, not just access to nature and wildlife, but more equitable access to uh, the outdoors. Yes, yes thank you, you, Senator, for um, for the questions and the opportunity to um, respond. Yeah, yeah, those are great questions. Uh, it's complicated when you're trying to balance all these different um, um, you know, biodiversity versus public access versus where, you know, affordable housing and a lot of the challenges that we face in California and other parts of the country. Uh, I agree with you that sustainable development is the goal and how we plan responsibly is key. Uh, some of the old development models um, haven't haven't worked very well. You know, they were auto centric and 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 focused on. Um, um, people sprawling out in the landscape and you know so how do we balance all this i think it starts at the local level it it's not the uh, uh, the locals know best on where to define where development can go and yeah. development that is is avoiding those biological hotspots and then identifying those bi biological hotspots and protecting them which is what this uh, proposed refuge refuge designation is proposing uh, the locals and the local scientists and the um, the implementers of the west riverside hcp have identified this area as important to uh, achieving the objectives of their habitat conservation plan so the locals have sort of worked with the federal government to identify this area so i think the way the feds can help is um, by approving this designation and also for increasing funding, funding through the ESA Section 6 program to as assist HCPs across the country protect the nation's biodiversity hotspots. With, uh, with access, that's, uh, you, you know, parts of the refuge could be open to, to the, the public, public. interpretive Inter exhibits and tours uh, can educate visitors on the importance of biodiversity, uh, refuge staff and local biologists could implement and adopt, uh, you know, have a adopt a school program to get kids involved in nature. Residents and school children can help at the refuge, volunteering for habitat restoration and projects and general maintenance. So it's basically trying to empower the community to adopt the refuge and work collaboratively you know, the refuge doesn't necessarily have to be a place that's off limits to people and how you can kind of integrate the community with the refuge and the refuge with the community. And that's sort of the, uh, the intent of, uh, of sustainable development 
anyways, and to echo with some of the things that John Schmidt was saying about working with private landowners, we do that all the time here. You know, we work with ranchers and they're an important component of of implementing, uh, you know, a local approach to conservation. And um, and then on the other side, working with local uh, municipalities to encourage them to develop more sustainably. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Much to uh, follow up on. Senator Padilla, great to uh, be with you again a second time today.